I think I've got some frog's legs on my bike. My full name, Madison Boyant. And we've done some tasty times together in this area. Morning team. We are on for a very special morning this morning. Heading up to Springbrook Festival Lookout with a dear friend of mine, Maddie Bland, who is a brilliant rider and a brilliant guy. And you might have noticed I'm wearing a jersey today that I've not worn, worn before. And um, yeah, Map have been kind enough to not only send me a jersey, but some shorts as well, bib shorts. And uh, socks too. Yeah, this is huge for me. Yeah, it's just a bit of kit, but it's it's actually a beautiful kit, and it's symbolic of uh, of all the hard work that I have done on the channel and the Instagram stuff. You know, they're my favourite brand, and I, I had the ambition to be riding only in map kit. And um, in 2024, that looks like it's going to be a reality. So thank you, Matt. Oh, it's Christmas Day, by the way. And I am so stoked to be wearing this kit on my favourite climb with the one and only Maddie Bland. So let's see how we go. This is Maddie. I'll introduce you in a second, but I think I've got some frog's legs on my bike. There's, uh, there's a few cane toads knocking around up here, isn't there? But I'm going to try and kick it off and clip. So I have to put you down. Maddie's on about his lack of blogging experience, but we're not going to go too hard on him today. But what's your full name, sir? What, what do you do with yourself? My full name, Madison Boyand, but yeah. everyone that knows me just calls me Maddie. I'm a senior transport infrastructure planner with the City of Gold Coast Council. I'm a uh, eternal PhD student that's still to <laughs> submit. Hopefully 2024 is the big year for that, but um, we'll see. Away from all that though, love getting out on the bike. Gold Coast is an amazing place for riding of all types. And very keen to show Felix the best of all the lookouts today. Can't bloody wait. You've got you've really got a vested interest in cycling in the Gold Coast area, haven't you? I do. Feel like you always have done. Well it's kind of self-inflicted because I made the genius decision to not replace a car that broke down on me and <laughs> commit to a life by bike. So professionally, studying the bike. Recreationally, riding the bike, and then just as a outlet pastime, sort of my mental escape. Yeah. Get out to places like these on the saddle. So it really encompasses all aspects of my life. And you have a bit of a rep in these parts when it comes to KOM segments. Certainly when I've ridden with you, I know you're too modest to say it, but I'm very impressed with your KOM up Beachmont, which is one of the biggest climbs in the area. And we've done some tasty climbs together in this area. Yep. What is, what's the hardest climb you've come across in the Gold Coast? We'll get the segment up on the screen. Hardest one, there's a couple. Felix would know about <laughs> the panorama. The panorama. The panorama out the back of Mudrabar. Yeah. Not the longest of climb, it's only 1.2 I think. Yeah. But at an average of 15% with some pinches well over 20. That was that was a hard morning. Yes, yeah, that was that was tricky. And we chose it with the humidity at 100, so I think that really made things all the more. We're just leaking water. Oh, it was pouring down like a waterfall behind us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, the dead set the hardest would be. It's called um, Guanabara Road. It just goes up the back of Henry Roberts Drive, which is the other okay. one we still need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Guanabara. 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 Wanabar. Wanabar. It takes you up to Mount Tambourine. Okay. It's an old back road. Yeah. They've 
I somehow managed to seal with asphalt, but the the actual surfacing yeah. is so poor that you really struggle to get any traction. Oh god. And because it's over 15, 20%, you need to get out of the saddle at times and you're really trying to battle that balance between sliding your back wheel and getting enough power to keep yourself going. hundred percent. Keep yourself upright. So I found that really difficult. Okay, mad. Um, but your gearing with that big dinner plate of yours, I think you've Well, got... it's gone now. I got a new cassette. Because okay. I fucked it. I don't take care of my bike. And I shag all the componentry. <laughs> I've got a, a normal cassette now. Yeah. And lastly, uh, your favourite client. Oh, it's got to be Beachmont. Beachmont. It's the most accessible. I think all Gold Coasters know it. Everyone knows their Beachmont time. Yeah. Just out the back in the rain. You can easily get up there. It's a good, good hit out. Whatever the weather. Yeah. Whatever the day and you just feel better for it, so. It is incredible, I can vouch for that. We're descending now. Thanks mate, we'll get some more words for you at some point. Get some good footage today. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. some civilization up here but we're just saying imagine living at the top of this climb Springbrook National Park it'd be pretty wild but absolutely gorgeous place <laughs> No worries, man. shortly we've just descended from Springbrook and uh, Matt and I just uh, heading home now it's been an awesome ride I'm gonna say uh, my goodbyes to Maddie shortly and then uh, yeah we're talking to the Christmas Day lunch
can't bloody wait. I'm gonna eat like a king.